welcome back to my channel. It's been a very long while, but today I'm introducing a new series called Chat Tea. Chat Tea. So chatting in with tea. <laughs> and today will be the first episode. And so that whole idea for this video was that I really like tea. And also in elementary school and middle school, I used to get in trouble for being too chatty. So this is an ode to that. So for today, we will have a very special guest, Erin! <laughs> so this is Erin. Hi! <laughs> um, and for our first episode of Chat Tea, we've got our very nice tea with us today. And we're going to be talking about a very special topic. Drum roll. We will talk about our favorite music and our favorite singers and artists and all those things because Many people may know if they know Erin, but she's a wonderful singer, and also we bonded over many artists, and also we met through a singer mm -hmm. <laughs> and a song, um, aka shout out to Rusty Clanton. <laughs> um, so yes, we're gonna talk about music today. Bum bum bum. Hmm, very good. Um, so for today, we're gonna talk about our favorite music, Erin. Yeah. Of all time, right? Of all time. So this is like the ultimate list. The ultimate list, yeah. I probably should have made a list. <laughs> I know. We're just gonna, it's just gonna have to come like naturally. Yes. Um, so do you, do you have an all time, all time, all time favorite song? All time, all time, all time favorite song. I don't because I feel like music's also so dependent on my mood. Yeah. Or like yeah. my season. Mm hmm. I don't know if I have like an all-time, all-time favorite song. I have like all-time favorite song. <laughs> yeah, okay, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's the same with me. I don't like have that one song I'm like, number one, mm -hmm. but I, de I definitely have like one of my oldest favorite songs, Yeah. which was like probably like the one I was like, okay, this is gonna be added to my like top list. Yeah. And so I can share that. My, yeah. So my oldest like favorite song I can remember is, um, Wow, I can't remember anymore. Oh, um, <laughs> well, it was Marching On by One Republic. I and, love that song. Yeah, yeah, I really, really liked it. And I feel like now my music taste has definitely changed a lot because that was more like pop, I think. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, that was like my all time favorite song mm -hmm. in like middle school. And that's when I kind of started my list of like favorite songs. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, yeah, I think middle school is like definitely the time period where I felt like I was kind of owning my music taste. Mm. Whereas before I just kind of listened to what everyone else was listening to. Yeah. I think the first album that I like listened to and I was like, okay, I love this was probably John Mayer's Continuum album. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember picking that yes. up in like 7th or 8th grade and being like, this is amazing. Yeah. And I think my favorite one from that was probably Stop This Train. Mm -hmm. And that's probably the only song on that album that I'm still like listening to mm -hmm. now. So I would say that's like, an all-time favorite. Okay. If I'm still listening to it. Yeah. That. That's actually yeah. that is on my all-time favorite list. Really? It is on my it's list. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> yeah. I actually didn't start listening to John Mayer until like college, and I think it's just because I had like a personal vendetta against him for like yeah. no reason. I just like did never listen to his music. Um, but yeah, he's a gem of a person. Mm -hmm. A gem of like his. Music is just so good. Yeah. Like, he's so good. For sure. Well, I grew up listening to my dad like play the guitar a lot. And my parents like both loved music growing up. And, like they still do. So growing up I remember like listening to a lot of classics. Like um, Queen was always playing like ABBA, Bee Gees. Yes, um, actually ABBA yeah. was always playing on my house. <laughs> we were we were like an ABBA family yeah. for sure, and yeah. we like still listen to those CDs now, and just like really old classics, Korean classics too. Mm. So growing growing up, I listened to a variety of stuff, and then I was also like in choir for a really long time. So growing up, I like love listening to show tunes, which is like I think where my musical taste come from comes mm. from. Um, else is there. Um, I would say middle school is like the acoustic years where I just fell in love with like, acoustic music because that's when I first picked up the guitar and learned that I could just sing casually for fun. Um, so that was really cool. It's also when my love for worship music began to really grow. Mm -hmm. um, and then in high school, um, to choir a little bit more seriously, 
but in terms of music background, I just started listening to everything that there was to listen to, from like R&B to rap to jazz to folk. I just tried to listen to everything I possibly could, and that's kind of like still where I am now. Like I listen to a variety of stuff, and the range is ridiculously wide. Also, there's a fly in here. <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> like <laughs> Yeah. Um, uh, I guess like my music background would be the same in the sense that I listen to a lot of like 70s, 80s music, mm. um, like Beach Boys and mm. um, ABBA and yeah, like I think just like it's really funny because like when I was, my mom used to listen to like Keith Green which is like super old school mm. worship music, um, which is like one of her favorite artists of all time and so we listened to like cassette tapes. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> And um, we'd listen to. She also really liked Pavarotti, hmm. and um, you know he's like he's an opera singer. You mm -hmm. know, and so it was so funny because I I was like this five year old girl at Barnes and Noble, and I see Pavarotti CD. I'm like, oh, that's Pavarotti, and all these people in line are like, what the <laughs> heck? Like, how does she know that? Oh, that is so cute. Um, so I think like definitely my family. Like my mom, especially, she like instilled within me like a music taste mm -hmm. slash a love for music. Um, so I think that was very young. And then through definitely, I didn't listen to anything outside mm -hmm. of like what my parents listened to yeah. until middle school. Mm -hmm. um, and like end of elementary school was like my friends listened to Jonas Brothers and Fergie and like mm -hmm. um, Avril Lavigne and stuff. Those are the good days. Yeah, I know. And like I just was like. Just listen, I just listened to it because they listened to it. Um, but then, yeah, definitely in high, middle school, I like started listening to my own music, and then like streaming platforms became a thing. Yeah. So like Spotify really helped me find more music stuff that I yeah, liked. Yeah, for and sure. It definitely like narrowed down the music I liked, and mm -hmm. so I think a lot of the songs on my like ultimate list are like kind of around the same mm -hmm. like genre. But mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So now that we have that, should we like talk about the all-time list? Yes, the all-time list. Oh gosh. You may begin. What's the limit? It's technically limitless, but let's maybe okay, I don't even know if I can remember all of them, like from the top of my mind, but hey, okay, let's limit to like ten. Okay, I can do that. Yeah. I think I can do that. Um, do you want me to go first? I think one of my all-time, all-time favorite songs is can I cheat? Yes. Can, okay. Sorry. I need to cheat. You Sorry. Can cheat. I think um, I need to cheat too. <laughs> yeah, we can cheat. Okay, I think I have one. So I really like jazz. I really like jazz. And it's definitely not for my mom because my mom hates jazz, but my dad likes jazz. Um, so I don't like listen to it at home because it just makes my mom upset when I'm <laughs> listening to jazz, but uh, I think one of my favorite songs um, that is a jazz song is Billie Holiday's Crazy He Calls Me. Do you know that song? I don't know that song. Oh my gosh. But I do love Billie Holiday. I just think like her voice is so raw. Mm. It's like not, it's very unique. Yeah. And um, I don't know like that many of her songs, but that one I know somehow. And I just like would listen to it all the time and I still listen to it all the time. Mm. And it just, I should so, listen to it. It's so like romantic mm. and it's such a good morning perky song. I don't know. I, I love that song. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I can share one of mine. Um, okay, I think also a super old one for me that is near and dear to my heart is like not as old as you, like <laughs> genre wise, not as old or decade wise, not as old, but um, Bloom by The Paper Tights. <laughs> um, <laughs> this one is like super like it's the first song I've ever heard by them, mm -hmm. and because I like found it on a blog, and I just like fell in love with it, and I started listening to like everything that they came out with, and like it's like super special because it's not it's pretty rare for like such a great group of artists to like come out with so few EPs and like like albums and stuff because I feel like these days people just try to throw out as much as they can That's to try so to make true. money yeah. but everything they do is so pure and so like mm -hmm. thought out That's I think. so true Yeah So I really, that song especially was like what made me fall in love with them and now I just listen to everything they come out with but They're like one of my all time favorite bands 
if yeah. not the most yeah. favorite. I definitely think I base favorite bands in, off of how many albums of them that I can like consistently yes, love. Yes, yes. Because I think, I can't, if I just like one song from a person, I can't say they're my favorite, you mm -hmm. know? But like, yeah, they're one of those bands that I'm like consistently loving everything they come out with, so mm -hmm. they're probably one of my favorites too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I approve. Going off of the paper cuts, one of my all time favorite songs. Like, I would listen to this song and be like, Yeah, I know this is gonna be an all time favorite. It's mm -hmm. Tenenbaum. Yes! Oh my gosh, I, I love, love that song. I love that song. <laughs> I, I love, love that song. That song. Like, it gets me. It's like. Ugh, it just gets me. I don't know. Yeah. And like, it's like, I don't know. I think their music just makes me think of either like summer or fall. Mm. Like, that's when I listen to their music. And like, ugh, actually, no, I listen to their music all around, but I feel like some songs have different moods and different For seasons. sure. Yeah. For sure. And like, ugh. they're perfect for me. I like to listen to their songs like on a rainy day. Mm. Or like if I'm on a rainy drive, mm. it's just the rain backdrop. Yes! It's so yes! perfect for their songs. Like, I don't think yes. it's hand in hand. I, but, um, yeah. Very good choice. Thank you. <laughs> it's your turn. Okay, well, I guess I have to mention it because it's the song that basically brought us together. <laughs> oh um, it's Novels by Rusty Clanton. So good. It's just like so hands good. down so good. And um, I'm not gonna lie because I just like, I think what made me fall in love was the acoustic version. Mm -hmm. And so like the recorded version definitely has like extra stuff added to it. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. it is different but it does make me love it less mm. but I definitely always go back and listen to like the original mm. like recording of it like I love the one where he's just like on the side of the road like mm. playing it it's like I don't know you can hear the cars going by and it's just not perfect mm. because you hear the outside noise but it's perfect because it's just like it's a perfect song mm. but um and then of course like Dodie's cover of it with Rusty is just a dream <laughs> I love. I still listen to that cover. Yeah, me too. It puts me to sleep sometimes. It's like yeah, the perfect lullaby song. I yeah, feel like. and like we we talked about it. Like we tried to figure out what we thought it meant. I know it's but such a deep song. Okay, is it my turn? Let me scroll a little bit. Oh, I figured it out. It's another John Mayer song, mm -hmm. "In Your Atmosphere." Yes. Okay, okay. Well, that's also my list too. But it's because I think. You're the one who like made me listen to it. Oh really? Place. I didn't yeah. know that. I think you like wrote about it one time and then I did I, write about it one yeah, time. And then I listened to it and I was like, why didn't I never listen to it? Because it's, it's so good. Oh my gosh. I know tell, there are tell like, us, uh, Aaron. I know John Mayer isn't the most lovable person, but he writes such good music. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but I like I think first of all it just holds like very special meaning to me because I first listened to it in the car ride with my mom in like 8th grade and we're listening to his live album which is my favorite one and oh, I just, I loved it right when it started playing and also I am really attentive to the lyrics when I'm listening to his song. This song was so captivating um, in its melody but also with its lyrics as well. The lyrics are so heartbreaking and it just captures his situation and his moment so well. Um, so if you're looking for a really heartbreaking song, that's the song you should listen to. Yeah. Yeah. It's really good. I just like sad music. <laughs> yeah. My mom told me to stop listening to sad music. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Speaking of kind of those kind of feels, um, my next favorite song is kind of like it's probably one of Bonnie Bear's like most well-known songs, but it's Holocene. I love that song. Like, I absolutely love that song. And like, honestly, I didn't know he sang the mm -hmm. song. Like, Me neither. But um, I don't think I've ever like really looked at um, the lyrics, but it's just, it's really, really good. And I actually watched like an analysis video on that song. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just like, is incredible. Mm -hmm. Like the guy knows his stuff and when he was talking about it and it just made me love it even more. Mm -hmm. And it definitely is like that wintry cold vibe. Mm -hmm. So love it. Love it. Indeed. Okay, let's see. Mmm, I have one. It's George Ezra's Barcelona. Do you know that song? No, I don't. I only know Budapest because 
it was like I know Budapest is good too, <laughs> but Barcelona. I yeah, that's definitely one of my all-time favorite songs because I listen to it like every week, and it's been even a few now. Years. Like yeah, like that's when wow. You're... It's just a very easygoing song, and I like songs that just kind of like are easy to listen to, mm -hmm. um, and it's like fitting for every mood, and. Oh, I just so basically the camera died so it cut off what we were saying but we will definitely leave the rest of the song requests or recommendations down below um, I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of chat tea and got to know a little bit more about me and Aaron and so yeah um, I'll hopefully be making more of these videos in the future and so we'll be talking about different things next time but We'll always have tea. So, yes, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!